Am I rank one with Undead yet? No, not yet. I had a, a little break for Elden Ring, and then I played some Orc yesterday, and now I'm back to Undead. I still got quite a ways to go, and partially because Sonic is not respecting my right to be rank one with every race. So he's been grinding actually, and he's now put several hundred MMR of points between himself and all of my accounts. So not only do I have to get Orc and Human back up there again, but Undead has never been there either. So we'll do our best. We're now against a human player. I am going to scout with Acolyte. Sometimes I like to not scout. It makes me feel, uh, you know, it's kind of exciting not knowing what's going to happen. Surprise mechanics in my games, you know. No, the reason I like to not scout is because you get a 10 second ghoul delay. I'm gonna go dreadlock. Hey, man. Knopf. Hey. Hey, Chenar. Thank you for the raid. What's up, guys? Uh, good luck. Good luck. Uh, yeah, you see how, like, I don't have enough money for a ziggurat because I made the acolyte. And then when I make the ziggurat, I won't have enough money for a ghoul afterwards for some time. So that's why sometimes I like to not make the acolyte. Then I can go straight up five ghouls, expand. But then you're completely blind. Anything could be happening. They could be going straight expo. They could be going mountain king, archmage. You don't know anything. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a gamble. So we now see it's going to be Pala Rifle. Dreadlord is extremely strong against this. Normally I rush a uh, Nerubian tower. Now I don't even need to. Because all he has is a Paladin, I can go straight gold mine. It is an insane advantage. And he can't punish it. This is why Pala first can be quite risky. But I don't want to say it's weak because it has been competitive against Happy of all people by Thorzane. Paladin first is a cool strategy that has some big weaknesses, but it has worked from Thorzane against Happy. Three acolytes, fourth and fifth coming. Let's see if he has Nerubian. That was my plan. Can I help you? You thought of that? Greetings. Very well. It's a nice try, but I have I have boots. It's not gonna work. He doesn't know that I know. Oh, he's trying to uh, cut it off from below. He's not creeping, is he? No, he's trying to go straight for my mind. He really just tried that. Okay, 
There's nothing he can do against this because I have another base and he doesn't. He can micro all he wants, but we're mining so much more. He's trying to expand, but I'm right here. I'm still here. Oops. Armor upgrade. So he's expanding. It's super, super late compared to ours. Then we can just go tier three, get gold frenzy. We demand additional lumber. Then we can creep with ghouls only. damage We're gonna make him use that TP.
One tower? That's it? Perfect level three. be able to play a build like this like the pala rifle knowing that if someone does like an immediate expansion it's just automatic build order loss at least in starcraft i feel like that's a real thing where some at least in wings of liberty and heart of the swarm it was a real thing in legacy perhaps not so much but where if someone does a build and and you do another build and you just lost it rock paper scissors it's over assuming roughly equal skill level but in Warcraft 3, generally you don't need to play like that. And I feel like Pala Rifle to a degree is. And the only reason it worked against Happy is because back then, Happy was not uh, willing to play builds that were abusive to the enemy known playstyle. So he just played what he thinks should be best against any number of strategies. So he wouldn't do Dreadlord Fexpo because it sucks against Archmage Fexpo, or at least we thought so back then, or at least it was so back then right or be bad against like archmage harass like i don't think he can hold archmage 3 creeping rush and then push and then alchemist you can't hold that with dreadlord but because thorzane wouldn't do that uh but then pala rifle you could instead do dreadlord expo but happy didn't play like that he doesn't counter people he lets people counter him that's enough for me to always kill all the critters because i don't ever want them to block me now, while that was the original reason, the killing of critters in Warcraft 3 has taken on a life of its own. Because you know how it is with uh, Schrodinger's cat, the moment you observe something. Actually, it's probably a bad example. There is another science experiment that anything that you observe changes, or maybe it is about the Schrodinger experiment. But anyway, I am being observed and therefore I change. So after I became a streamer for Warcraft 3, when I kill critters, pe people always overreact emotionally. I say overreact, perhaps I'm underreacting. Perhaps I am underappreciating the digital artificial suffering of the animals in the game that didn't deserve it, didn't do any damage to me. But anyway, people always meme that they are shocked that I kill the animal. And then for shock value, because you know, anything for views, right? Content, oh, clouds over everything. I kill the critters. Even if they, I don't think they're gonna block me. There's a reason why Grubby lost this PETA sponsorship. I love it when you kill birds in the middle of the fight. I'm just doing that because it's funny, right? Because, like, I've, ex I've explained so many times in the last 13 years of streaming Warcraft 3 that I'm killing critters on the ground because they can body block me. And then I only do it, like, in passive moments. But then I started doing it in fights as a joke, like, as a flex. 
and then I started doing it on flying units, which couldn't possibly body block. Though, they could eat a death coil or storm bolt by accident. Uh, no, it's because... Nuvo, it's because... Uh, mechanical critters... Uh, take on different forms to blend in. With the map. Let's get cannibalized and then see if we can rush the level 5. I think it's probably too greedy. It can be interesting. If we get it, it can be a really big win. It's a really big loss. I did get the item, which is cool. Oh no. Oh, he's got a fully finished expansion. Where is he going? Our forces are under attack. My vengeance is 
Cider abominations or destroyers? Probably destroyers into abominations. He made a full wall off so I can do some destroyer abuse behind his base. My patience has ended. You call. Scroll the beast. Interesting. Cell scroll the beast. Vengeance 
totally tame. My patience has ended. You call. Goodbye, destroyers. I'm gonna need a temple, but I don't have enough wood. Kill heroes, best thing I can do.
additional luck. Cost my life for this. Lich King. Yeah. I bow to your will. Thy will. Dark patience has ended. I darkness. What we do? My vengeance is yours. My vengeance is yours. Random terror. My patience has ended. has ended. Our forces are under attack. GG, well played.